kids to President Muhammad Buhari's incoming cabinet. Reports have it that construction of the cabinet is ongoing. Will it be refurbished or a new one altogether? Believe it or not, the jostling and lobbying has begun. And Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Togara, replies APC National Leader's budget padding allegations, saying only the ignorant will say the maker of a document has padded the document. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I am Kayode Okikiolu here at Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. Well, a few weeks ago, the, uh, well, a few weeks to the commencement of President Buhari's second term in office, I should say, and speculations are on the rise as to who will be boarding that flight with him as ministers, of course, or what we call members of the executive cabinet. On one hand, the National Working Committee of the APC is said to be impressing on the president to ensure that only individuals who have been loyal to the party get executive appointment. We also hear that some governors and current ministers are asking political heavyweights to put in word for them so they will not be left behind in the coming government. In fact, some of this politicking and meetings defied the Easter break. As they say, politics never sleeps. But so far, the president is keeping the list close to his chest. And the coming days and weeks will reveal the names on that list. Stay with Politics Today to bring you the perspectives. But first, let's tell you about some other political stories making the rounds at this time. President Mohamed Buhari has met with the visiting Emir of Qatar, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, held behind closed doors at the presidential villa in Abuja. The Qatari leader earlier arrived at the villa and was received by the president and some members of the Federal Executive Council, after which he inspected a guard of honor mounted by troops of the Nigerian Army Guard Brigade. The House of Representatives has emphasized the need for security agencies in the country to intervene in the escalating communal clash unfolding in Wukari local government area of Taraba State. This came via a motion by Representative Dajuma Shidi, who drew attention to the worsening security situation in the local governments. Approving the motion, the House is urging security agencies to increase their presence in the area and ensure that the perpetrators are arrested and prosecuted. The Lagos State Governor-elect Babajide Songolu says he's ready to defend his mandate before the State Governorship Electoral Petition Tribunal. He said this at the premises of the tribunal sitting at the Lagos High Court, Ikeja, where he showed up today to sign a response to the two petitions challenging his victory at the March 9 polls. The petitions were filed by Uolabi Salas and Professor Ifagwimi Awamaridi, the candidate of the Labour Party. Meanwhile, the El Progressives Congress in Niger State has dumped Omar Bago, member representing Teng Tenga constituency, at the Federal House of Representatives to support Honorable Femi Gwajabi Anila in the quest for speakership of the House. The newly elected member representing Age Lapai, Abdullahi Mahmoud, said their decision to support Femi Gwajabi Anila is to further demonstrate their loyalty to the APC. He says they're also in support of Senator Ahmed Lawal's Senate presidency bid. It is the result of the people of Niger State, and I will continue to pursue it until we see that it becomes successful. 